Can you tell me about my spiritual guide? Very big subject, the existence of it, the intention of it. I know it's a, I know it exists. Yes, the intention. Holding a vibration steady until you recognize it personally and translate it for yourself. Standing as the vibrational becoming of all that you have ever been. Infinite intelligence, no subject off limits, defined by you. In other words, you will fill in all of the characteristics through your practiced expectation. When you say you are aware of the existence, how so? People have told me. And I have um, experienced things. So why are you asking us? Because you seem to be the expert. Well, we are. <laughs> so for confirmation or validation? Yeah, both. When Esther first began receiving us, she didn't have expectations about us other than she had heard the expression spiritual guide. She didn't really know what it meant. It didn't fit in with other beliefs that she held and frankly just felt weird, the idea of it. And no one was really explaining what it meant. But the idea was enough of a path of least resistance to her that it made her curious and made her want to know more. And so as she meditated and in the process of meditation quieted her mind, she managed without even knowing what she was doing to bring her resistance level way, way down, which made her vibration raise way, way up. And in that process, she began receiving us. And at first she thought it was her own thought because she was translating the vibration into thoughts. And so it was her terminology. So it didn't feel amazing. It felt normal. And the normalcy of it sort of threw her because it just felt normal. When she started writing it or speaking it out loud for Jerry to read, he didn't find it normal. He found it amazing. But to Esther, who was in sync with it at the time she was receiving it, it felt normal. So that's why other people telling you is sometimes confirmation that feels good. Because when you are in the mode of receiving, it just feels normal. Esther would come off of a platform like this and she would say, well, that was fun. And Jerry would say it was fun and it was incredible. And Esther would say, how so? Because to Esther, it just felt normal until she listened back to it and realized how fast her mouth was moving and how fast her mind was translating and how much information was coming forth in a very short time. So we're happy to give you confirmation that your inner being exists and that you have access to it and that you are receiving the vibration of it and you are accurately translating it. Our encouragement to you is that you have fun with it. There's not something that you are assigned to do with it. It has come in response to your personal requests and will be whatever you want it to be as long as you want it to be it. There is no assertion. You're not being possessed. There's not some assignment. There's not something that you've got to do. There's not something that source even wants you to do. It's just you finding alignment and it's for the fulfillment and satisfaction of that, which you want enough. Some more. Yeah. Is the being source is Abraham the same as source is this being Abraham. The interesting thing about trying to explain this is that this is a vibration that is not words. And so the words are found by translators like Esther and like you. And so when you are receiving a vibration, you'll find words that match that vibration, especially if you're willing to continue to do it, you will find words that match the vibration. Sometimes people find words that Esther has found. And so they think they are receiving the vibration. Someone sent her some things a while ago and Esther said, 
Abraham, is this person channeling you? And we said, this person is channeling your website. <laughs> and that's different, you see. And so, yes, the vibration is the same. The words will be uniquely yours. Mm -hmm. The translation is uniquely yours. What Abraham is, is Esther's verbal translation of the vibration of Abraham. And that's why Jerry was careful to put Abraham hyphen Hicks so that people would understand that, of course, everyone has access to this. Everyone has access to infinite intelligence. Everyone can get into the receptive mode. Everyone can release resistance enough to get into that frequency where you can begin to receive and consistently do it. Yeah. Enough. Do other people here do that? Oh yeah. So do they feel when Abraham comes into the room? Those who are sensitive to energy do, don't you? Some see auras, do you? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. So Esther is auditory. She receives the vibration and translates it into the word equivalent. Some are visionary. They sense the vibration and translate it into something that is visual. More and more and more and more are finding themselves in the receptive mode. You just got to accept that there's more going on than what you can physically explain. You're brilliant and beautiful, but the whole bunch of you haven't managed to scrape enough dirt together to launch another moon into orbit. There is a consciousness that is large and that is larger than the physicality that you know. And so when you begin to get your thoughts around that by exploring vibration and by exploring vibration in the only real way that you can understand it, which is through emotion and then tuning yourself by caring about the way you feel emotionally to the frequency of that which you are the clarity that then begins to come forth is undeniable you just don't question when you get tuned in to that frequency you see this alignment is not like a college degree it's not something that once you achieve it and nail it up on the wall it is yours forevermore it's not like that it either is or it isn't in the moment depending upon what you've got going on vibrationally but once you catch a piece of this and once you recognize it and once you begin to do it on purpose and once you tune yourself deliberately and once you care about the way you feel and once you meditate consistently and once you allow yourself to keep your vibrations in check and once you care about the way you feel and when you feel things getting a little emotionally out of whack you do something about it once you begin to gain control of your own vibration and the momentum becomes something that is really consistent then you become a consistent enough translator of the vibration that you yourself don't doubt it in the early days Esther would say Abraham am I speaking clearly your words and every single time our answer to her was yes even though we knew that her clarity was going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger not once did we say yes you're doing good but it'll get better because she would have focused on what's wrong with what I'm already doing in other words it just gets better and better and better until in time if you were say to Esther Esther do you have an inner being she'd say yeah and does your inner being have a name and Esther would say the best name that they've been able to give me is Abraham and you would say and who is Abraham and Esther would say well my understanding is that it's a collective consciousness and that has been my experience because sometimes the conversation is very broad and sometimes it's very narrow sometimes it's general sometimes it's specific sometimes they get right into something and I can tell that they know every single thing about that person sometimes it's about the mass consciousness in general if you said to Esther are you sure that you're receiving Abraham she would say there is no question whatsoever within me because the clarity that comes through me when I'm in alignment with Abraham is profound and wonderful and unmistakable and undeniable you see but it wasn't always that way with Esther in the beginning she'd say to Jerry did that make any sense mm. and Jerry would say oh boy did that make sense mm. you need to listen back to this recording it made more sense than anything that I've ever heard yeah. Esther listened back didn't make sense to her didn't really make sense to her because Esther wasn't channeling Esther Esther was channeling Abraham what yeah. Esther knew was different than what Abraham knew now more and more what Esther knows and what Abraham knows are very much the same thing because Esther listens back Esther applies Esther wants to understand this you see 
but getting tuned in and being in the receptive mode you get all kinds of information that you are not really practiced in that's all right that's how you know when to go buy the lottery ticket you see what we're getting at when you tune into guidance that guidance is real time and you can trust it we have enjoyed this interaction more than words can describe. Be playful and easy about this. Don't make hard work about it. We offered more words today than are necessary or even wanted by you. Just be playful, be easy, have fun, and trust that you have access to this infinite intelligence. And that it is projecting to you and through you all day every day and let your dominant intent be to pay attention to the way you feel and to reach for that unconditional feeling of alignment and well-being and then watch what happens because this is a really good day <laughs> there is great love here for you and as always we remain in your fortune.